on DCS Flyers. This is uh, Fly Fast here with another episode in DCS A10. Let me go ahead and shut my canopy here so it'll be a little bit quieter in here. Alright, so in this tutorial I'm going to pretty much show how I plug in coordinates on my CDU. Um, so before I start that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start up everything. And my startup process is a little weird, so, but it works. Turn on everything. Okay, what else it is? Okay, so I'm just going to wait for my APU to go to 100% and I'll flick on my uh, my generator power switch and get rolling. I'm actually on the, uh, the TFP online, uh, TFP dedicated online server. So, uh, this is where I, um, where I mainly fly, so, if you, if you guys ever see me, um, my name is, uh, The Bull. This guy, I hope this guy doesn't hit me. Alright. So, I'm gonna get my bit test started. I do have another um, a tutorial on how to start up everything. I explain everything and what everything does, so you, know, you can look at that on my my videos. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show how to uh, how to plug in coordinates. All right. Well, why? Well, since everything is getting started, I'm going to uh, go to my F10. So this is how I get coordinates. I'll uh pull up, for example, pull up. I will go here. Altitude, and altitude. I will see see a bunch of tanks here, so you'll just click and notice you can either look down here or up here in the upper corner and there's coordinates right there. You you're gonna wanna write write these down. So four two oh eight five four north, zero four two zero six five four east. And you'll also probably want to get the, uh, the elevation, which is right there, 53, 54, whatever. I have them already pre-written down. So these are a bunch of group of tanks. For those of you who fly the TFP server, usually those are tanks. And they got a bunch of uh, fuel trucks somewhere else over in this area. Okay, they're usually right here too, but huh, they must have been taken out already. But anyway, you get the idea. So you um, just click anywhere, and you'll get the coordinates up there. Write down those coordinates. Um, and make sure you just keep your mouse there, otherwise, you know, if you move the mouse up here, the coordinates will change to wherever the mouse is. But if you actually click a a targeted area or a building or whatever, the the static um, uh, coordinates will be down here. So, and if you want to get the elevation, then then you'll have to move your mouse over, and then you can th you can get the elevation on the top, in the uh, upper left uh, corner of the screen. So you get those coordinates, and then you uh, let me. No, exit, boom, load all. Okay. Uh let me let me zoom in here. Oh, okay. Well I gotta wait two more minutes for this thing for my INS to uh to align. Um so with the so the INS takes about um four minutes to align and the the time equals this is so it's two point two minutes in, so once this is four um then it'll be it'll be flashing. This right here, even though it says INS ready, it's not really ready until it's flashing, and then that's not going to flash until this is at four. So right now it's about two and a half minutes in. So I don't know why it doesn't just say two minutes and thirty seconds, or whatever. But it has all this uh, whatever. Anyway, um, well, I will um pause here, and when the everything's up and running, I will be back. 
Alright guys and gals, welcome back. Um, so I have everything up and running. My uh, my uh, INS is finally aligned. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. Uh, when this is flashing, uh, you just go ahead and hit nav, that little nav button, just like in the other tutorial, and then you go ahead and hit your Iggy and, and your other switches. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here, and let me go ahead and pause my track IR. Alright, cool. So, um, t in order to input your coordinates, you go ahead and um, go to uh, waypoint right here, the WP for waypoint. Hit that, and then the waypoint, this is where you're going to um, go into the waypoint creation uh, uh, screen uh, menu. Right here, this is going to be the name of the waypoint that you're going to create. And remember those coordinates that we got earlier? These are where you're going to put those in, and EL, is, this is going to be for elevation. Um, so, uh, since this is the starting point or the initial um, position that we're actually going to be starting in, the coordinates are already pre-plugged in, um, so um, initial you can actually you can actually change these names. Like for example, I'm going to say home. You can change it to compatibility, whatever. But it, you can just type whatever you type in here. Um, it's going to go in here, right here, and then notice it just switches to home. In order to save whatever you have on here, this little one, this is for waypoint one. So just hit that, and it'll save it. Now you're at waypoint two. Um, so we got the coordinates earlier for the tanks, so I'm just going to input the coordinates. So the coordinates that I got was uh, uh, 420854 north, so there's not going to be any spaces. So you're just going to input 420854. Now, mind you that this yeah, that your coordinates could be a number or two off. That's if you're flying in this in the T TGP uh, server. Or you know it, it, it's the same thing for any other um, coordinate that you uh, that you find on, on that map. So you input the north coordinates. Remember the no spaces. Here's the N for north. Just hit that, and it'll change right there. And then you do the same thing for east. Um, so let's see zero four two zero oh, six five four. Turn that. Put that into the east. And my elevation was 63, I'll put 63, and then change that. Alright, so this is all the coordinates. Now, I want to change the name to tanks. I mean, I could leave it like that, or whatever. You can do whatever you like, but I'm going to switch this to, say, tanks. If I can find the N, tanks. So tanks, switch that to tanks, and then I'll save it by hitting this one. And then you can keep going, and keep going as many coordinates that you have but I'm just gonna stop there because that's all I, I'm gonna do right now um, so now that I got my waypoint set I'm gonna go ahead and go to flight plan flight plan flight plan build I'm gonna go ahead and hit that uh, and the notice now the number one is already in there uh, the coordinates is already in there so the two what do you think we're gonna put for two we're gonna hit tanks since that's what we created for that um, and good thing that you only have to enter the first two letters um, and then it'll automatically find it and you can just hit two and bam, that's how you get the tanks. Now, if there's another waypoint that you have that's similar to TA, I don't know if it says something else, then um, you just have to, you know, put in the third letter and then it'll find it. So, um, like for example, tanks, you know, in target one, you know, if you put TA, obviously it's going to either put target or tanks, you know, and so on, so on and so forth. So just keep spelling until you find the, the correct one that you want to put in there. All right, cool. So now that you got those in there, uh, let me go ahead and unpause. All right, so see up there in your home, right there. If you hit steer, bam, there it is, right there, tanks. And then of course your steer point right there, it'll it'll point you to the steer, and that's how you get to that coordinate. That's how you can find your your targets or your whatever coordinate, and you can actually build your own flight plan doing this. Um, of course, it takes it's a little bit more time-consuming, but um, but this is the quickest way how I find my targets before I even take off. Um, now, on top of that, to go to take it a step even further, I'll go ahead and put my uh, my TGP on, uh, which should be warmed up by now. Let me go ahead and switch to my TGP and air to ground. All right, cool. So TGP is on. Uh, let me go ahead and make that um, go ahead and make that soy. <clears throat> so now, once that's soy, I can actually um, slave my TGP to this corner right here by just pressing my uh, my China hat forward. And notice it's it it's it's locked at that target right now. And I can set I can it tells me that I'm 16 almost 17 miles away. And when I take off, 
it's going to just stay um, you know at that target or it's going to be slaved at that target so um, that's my way um, how I find in, in and uh, get my targets on my on my targeting pod and make them really really easy to find rather than trying to fly around and like hey where is this where are all these targets and stuff so um, so I'm going to take off and I'm going to show you exactly how I uh, actually target my uh, target my targets that I um, input in the coordinates and uh, we'll just go from there so I'll see you in the air okay so we're back so now I'm in the air and I'm flying toward the target so right over these mountains um, one of these hills um, as you can see there is the target that I have uh, on my coordinates I still have my my, uh, my targeting pod as my soy so I'm actually going to uh, zoom in to where I have um, okay let me zoom in a little bit more okay so as you can see I guess that's there is no tank right there but there is a group I think that's a group of tanks right there yep there's a group of tanks right there somebody it looks like somebody's already try to have a stab at it let's see if I can uh, find one that's uh, not not uh, oh, here we go perfect alright cool so I'm going to target these guys right here hopefully that's good enough okay so team is up long alright cool so this can be area right there alright so let me go ahead and turn toward it and I'm six miles out. Let me go ahead and um, I gotta I gotta uh, make sure my my GPUs are are set to the correct setting before I fly that way. All right, so I just set my uh, my alt my um, autopilot to to altitude so I can stay in a in a holding pattern like this. So what I'm gonna do now is go to my GPU 10 since they are the heaviest bombs and I want to get rid of those quick so I can be able to fly my aircraft. So I got those. Uh, selective, so I'm going to go to profile and make sure they are. Usually they are at CCIP, but they are at CCRP because I already changed it earlier. So just want to make sure in case uh, um, none of you guys have uh, known that did this before. Also, it's all already. It's usually automatic at, um, off too. So you want um, the laser on and the time. That's usually at zero. You just hit. Um, I usually hit it at 10 seconds and then hit that and then it just saves it at 10 seconds. Um, and when you save, uh, I would do the same thing on this page too because sometimes when you when I actually go in, like see for example right there, it went back to CCIP, which I don't understand why it does that. Um, maybe some of you guys can explain to me why it does that, but it just doesn't seem to save. So this is what I was talking about. So how it's on off and then zero. So you want to change this to on, put in 10 seconds, and then save. So now it should save. Um, for my my GBUs and I can confirm that by if it says the CCRP up here in single whatever I set up here then it should it should be saved um, now sometimes the the laser doesn't count at the 10 seconds and when the bombs drop you'll see a little counter right up in this area um, if it's if it's below 10 and you don't see the little L blinking and you'll see you'll see the uh, You'll see the L blinking in here too. If you don't see that, then just go ahead and hit the nose. Uh, the the pinky switch, or your your nose steering switch, or whatever it is on the keyboard. I think it's insert. I, I believe. I'm I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, now that we've got that set, I'm gonna go ahead and arm everything and turn toward my uh, my target. Let me take it off autopilot here. And go ahead and steer toward my targets, and see how well I do here. All right, so there they are, right there. Let me go ahead and level off here. I didn't trim it out or anything, as you guys can, as you guys can see. Okay. So perfect, 21 seconds. All right, so. I'm gonna try to keep my head down here so I can see my targeting pod at the same time. All right. All right. Holding the pickle down, and bombs away. All right. So as I was saying right there. Oh shoot! Too fast. 
see 10 seconds all right see if that laser isn't blinking then i would be holding my pinky switch right now um so let's see how well i did boom okay well i guess i could have guess oh well okay i did get a, a lot of them cool all right let's see if i can find another little group oh wow let's have a little fireworks show down there I thought I saw some more another group sent there there we go. I am going to take out the rest of these guys. Right there seems good. Alright, and I'm turning and don't even don't even mean. Alright, area. Alright, cool. So that's set and I got one more GB to get rid of. And then after that I'll do one more bomber run and uh after that I'll probably just end the video. I mean I'm pretty sure you guys will get the uh we'll get the get the point after that and this guy is flying really really close to people it's like huh oh well all right um so right there as you can see in, in the bottom on the bottom right of the uh i hope that's not a missile toward me usually when you uh when they fire a rifle or a fire uh, yeah um a rifle um like a Maverick, it'll come up as a, a missile on your radar, and I don't see any missiles coming at me, so I think that's, I think I'm good. Anyway, um, what was I saying? So down here, I usually turn, to make my turn, um, uh, back toward the target when that says, uh, about six, six and a half, um, and that'll give me, that that's a really good time to have enough time to line up at the target and, and have that full, um, 21 second, you know, line up so you can hold the button down and everything like that. Um, <clears throat> usually I, uh, I, I did that at four, four, four and a half miles this one time and, um, yeah, I just, I couldn't line it up in time, so, um, alright, so let me line it up here. Let me turn this, this, this needs to, that volume needs to come down just a little bit. Alright, hopefully I'll line it up a little bit better this time. Let me line this up. Come on. Uh, no, come on. Alright, there we go. That's a little better. Alright, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, because it is laser guided and, I mean. But I like to be, I like to have it right down the line, right down the middle. Alright, holding down the pickle. And bombs away. I'm going to put my autopilot on so I can concentrate on what I'm seeing here. Alright, laser on. Boom. So, that is how to, well, that is how I target my uh, stationary targets. Now, if you have a motion, uh, <laughs> motionary, uh, moving targets, um, I think the Mavericks is a little bit better for that. I knew, I do know that the, that the Ds, the AGM Ds, I believe, uh, are good for night. And I usually use the Hs for, uh, for the daytime because the D's I think they are IR sensor only or infrared or something like that they're heat seeking I think so they can't really lock on targets that well uh, in the in the in the daytime so I use the uh, the H's I think somebody's on no I don't know what that was but anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and uh, I will see you guys next time.